Hey guys, what's poppy? Sugar, I'm a kid or whatever. And all. and welcome back to Emma K Talks channel how have you guys been I hope you guys have all been well I've been good you know <laughs> your girl <laughs> has been trying to look fine 24 7 or day you know what I'm saying I've been trying you know something new huh, with this makeup stuff you know what I'm saying huh? we're advancing this 2019 we are advancing so yeah I would like to say thank you to everybody who has been watching my recent videos from my life update um, my January was my December video, all the way down to all the makeup tutorials that I did on my clients and my models. I want to say thank you so much for the support, the amazing comments. Thank you, 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 thank you. God surely blessed all we are. <laughs> Today's video is going to be a video I have been talking about. Um, I started actually talking about it last year. I did say I was going to do this video. This video, like I've titled at the bottom, who, what did I tell again? Okay. Who you walking with. Um, it's a video to make you aware of the people you're surrounding with. And it's a video to also make you aware of how you are treating people around you as well. Um, I did talk about this in two of my videos. I think the other one was sis, um, block and delete equals peace. And the other one was... It was all about like the people you engage in your life with like the people you walk with like you know the same and it says birds of the same feather flock together basically it was a video like that i'll put the links down below if you guys haven't watched a video like that um i mean my video based on those topics so basically i said i was going to do this video about people the three types of people that come across in your life at certain timings and what their purposes in your life are so uh, let's get into the video so as you guys know my camera is no longer with me so i had to transfer all my notes from my phone onto my laptop i guess you guys can see what my favorite color is already my jackets all have the color inside i'm wearing it my laptop my eyes anyway you know Valentine is coming so i have to do something to represent you see so today i'm gonna based today's video on the three types of times people come into our lives and the three types of how do i say it the three types of people the stages of life basically so the first one we'll be talking about how people come into our lives for a season how people come to our lives for a specific reason and how some people come into our lives for a lifetime so this video I'm basically going to help you identify those type of people and sometimes we actually tend to be blinded towards those type of people where there's sometimes people are doing good to us but because we're so not used to getting good given to us or like we just don't know how to identify which one is which we tend to throw away even the good people away this 2019 we need to you know let love spread if we're gonna make our money if we're gonna create our businesses yes we can do it solo but not for long you're gonna need people and there's so much as to god to bring those people to you even when they come how would you rec be able to recognize them how would you be able to identify who is what and what role they're coming to play in your life do you understand so with the little wisdom i've gained from experience and research as well i'm basically here to come and talk to y'all and the first one i'm gonna talk about is the people that come into your life for a season the type of people that come into your life when they're in your life at the point that they've literally entered into your life straight on it's exciting it's all enlightening and that like, there's always fun things happening like everything's happening like at a crazy speed and your friendships are growing or your relationships are just lit like you're all loved up and everything but we forget to see that it's actually a seasonal enjoyment that we are enjoying and the fact that we don't actually know that seasonal things have to evolve to a next stage and unfortunately seasonal things evolve to the stage of ending so it comes to an end it doesn't last long it doesn't last forever like how winter 
comes then spring comes then summer comes then autumn comes they're all seasons that excite us or they make us feel a certain mood for a period of time and then it now ends and it jumps over to something new so those are like the people that come into our lives i'm sure a lot of us can say we've had a lot of seasonal friends we've had a lot of seasonal business inquiries with people we've had a lot of seasonal relationships and it's very unfortunate but it is the truth but how will we be able to identify those people because as human beings the first one month of talking to somebody you're just like yeah yeah my real g yeah yeah that's my man yeah we're gonna get married <laughs> no no you're not stop you know so we tend to mix seasonal with lifetime and it's really heartbreaking especially I will, I will, i'm gonna say just for females but you know we females one Monday, I'm walking two miles per hour. We're walking 10 miles per hour. So things are really higgy in our system. Some people don't care when you're alone. They only care when they're alone. And those are those seasonal people. You know when you, for instance, friendship, sometimes you might go and approach your friend about something and like the per the friend doesn't really show you enough attention as you expect the person to. But the moment the person themselves go through a predicament, they are running to you, expecting you to open your arms so wide and accept them and comfort them in their point of need. Those are seasonal people, seasonal friends, seasonal family members, even seasonal partners. Trust me, there are some relationships like that. A girl can go and speak to her boy, oh, my day was so long today. You'd be like, look, babe, I'm actually tired. Like, I need to rest. Let me rest. And then you can talk to me about everything. Come on, some girls have heard that. I've heard that before. Let me rest, yeah. Let me rest and I'll call you back. I promise I'll call you back. They don't call you back. You get pissed off, so you don't even talk about the subject anymore. But the moment the boy or the girl needs help, that person will run to you like B. Oh, do you know, man, stuck out here, like, man needs help, like, I need you. This is why I dated you, fam, because I know you're a woman that can help me. Can I? Can I really? Those are the type of people that are here for a season. They're not here for long. And sometimes it's not actually, a lot of people say, oh, God brought this person to my life. God brought this person to my life, so that means, you know, this this seasonal thing was meant to happen or if it gave you broken heart or heartache um you're gonna say wow so god intentionally brought this person to break my heart no listen let me tell you something even though god has your destiny planned for you us human beings god has also given us the choice do you understand he's given us the choice to go left or right even though his bible might the bible might say sorry hiccups again even though the bible might say the rules and regulations on how to live a great life we tend to always sometimes slide slide to fit our own purposes so we have choice even in john 3 16 point blank we have choice he's told us for whosoever believes in jesus christ will have everlasting life so he's not forcing you but he's told you if you want to live long even after you die and have everlasting life boo just worship my son believe in my son and do what the bible says you gotta do period so our whole life we have choice so sometimes maybe god is giving you multiple signs don't chat to that guy that guy's gonna lead you that guy's not gonna take you somewhere but because he's so handsome because he's so gorgeous because he's just you know some fine guy from the corner you just wanna get involved sister that's your own now you have to face the heartache god didn't invent heartache what is that what is that those people in the Bible that have experienced painful things, God was the one to deliver them out of them. He never put them in it. So, sister, don't blame God. Blame yourself. Because you need to think twice. You tis. Watch out for the seasonal people. Okay? Because they come to care for themselves, to use you, to drain life out of you. Because it's all about them. And you're just that sucker puncher that they can use all the time. And they don't last long. So if you know you have seasonal people in your life, my friend, don't fear. This 2019, you need to evolve. You need to grow. Hire tens only. Execute them out of your way and do what makes you happy, honey. And then the second type of people in this life are the people that come for a reason. Now, if you guys remember in my previous chit chat video, which was the my January was my December, I did speak about me going up to a close friend of mine and speaking to them and asking them, to tell me things about myself that they felt wasn't right or things that I lacked in so I can be able to 
develop in those areas i could say that that person who came into my life for me to realize that i needed help and i didn't fear and i didn't stray away from getting that help i can say that that person came into my life for a reason let me go into more detail the person that comes into your life is to help you grow to support you in difficult times never forget the person that was there for you when no one else was when every when when they had every reason not to be there they could have had any excuse to not be in your life but they chose to be there right beside you now some of us i can say this i'm gonna say this because one i'm a victim two i've had friends who are victims and they've always come to me to help them out and three i've seen it happen to other people that i don't even know a lot of us tend to misread those that actually want to be there for us and those that just just are there do you understand so sometimes we get confused with people who are here for a reason and people who are here for a season when someone really wants to be involved in you you don't always have to be the one to pick up the phone to check on how they're doing do you understand you don't always have to be the one to be like oh wow it's been really three days and this person hasn't bailed me yet or this person hasn't even texted me to see if the sky is blue on my side do you understand like those types of people are people that are here for a season because their care is not there for you they are using you for the meantime once they've got all their help skadoosh they're gone but the people who are here for a reason they have to do something something has to happen with them there so that the reason of why they're, they're there comes to life do you understand they have to be there they ha whatever i don't know how to say it i feel like people who are here in your life for a reason are here with a mission they have come into your life to complete something it's able to help you grow it's able to help you see something or it's, uh, what can i speak today or it's either for you to establish something or maybe it could be the other way around you might be in somebody else's life or you guys might meet and your strengths might help their weaknesses evolve and grow do you understand it has to happen they're not going to leave until it happens but if they leave and it hasn't happened then you or the person are going to remain in the same in the same stance and it's gonna move mad that's when it causes delayances in your life so those people who are in your life for a reason they're always there like they're always there they are always there they listen you might be crying one time at night this has happened to me before you might be crying out at home at night because something has gone on and you're just like oh who am i gonna talk to who's gonna be there for me and all you see is -na 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 that person just calls you out of the blue they didn't even know you were upset they're just calling to see how you are and it's like they came at the right time do you know what i mean so it's those people that think 10 steps forward about you for you they don't need to be there you've been sat in a life contract by force stay by my side by force call me by force be my friend you haven't signed no life document to say you must be there but they have chosen to be there sometimes you might have that friend where you're like i'm gonna come to your house no you're upset you're upset and i'm gonna come. don't come to my house don't come you don't have to ging, ging, ging. they're at your door you even stand at the door and tell them they should go and turn around and go back to where they come they will stand there to that kingdom come those are the people that have come for a reason you might have a certain character that you don't realize that you have and because no one has had the bravery to tell you or no one or pe maybe the people that are around you as bad as you are no offense right so they can't even tell you to your face bro sis this is the type of person you are this is the type of character you've got not gonna lie if i look at it well yeah this ain't gonna take you forward so you're gonna have to got it you're gonna have to got it and maybe no one's able to have that you know that bonus to tell you but all of a sudden this person comes into your life you guys get along very well and because of the relationship you guys build the fact that that person comes to you and tells you your sis your bro i've been friends with you for a while and there's one or two things i'm never gonna lie yet if i was somebody that didn't care about you i would have left you a long time i would have stopped being your friend i would have stopped this relationship i'm telling you this for your good when that person mentions it to you you're probably gonna be like i've heard this too many times like, what exactly is it maybe it's your time to cut it it's your time's up stop just stop it now do you get it like god loves us so much that he never wants to see us down in and up down in the dumps he never wants to see us lacking in something he never wants to see us begging he never wants to see us even crying the only tears we're meant to do is tears of joy so he will bring whoever he needs to at whatever time he thinks is right because it's time for a change but it's only up to you for you to recognize 
why those people are in your life if they're here for a season or if they're here for a reason you taste okay now the last one which is number three is the people that come into your life for a lifetime the people that come into your life for a lifetime are those people that sometimes we don't even recognize them we don't even notice them we don't even pay attention to them we just think that they're just there like you know sometimes you have that one friend that they will text you you look at their name and you're like Ugh, why is she texting me for and even though you might not even value her or anything she is always there for you anything you need sometimes you yourself even when you go to approach her you're feeling some style because you know you ignore her you don't chat to her when she does certain things like you give her half half love but yeah when you know when it's her or when it's him they will give you a hundred percent those are the type of people that are in your life for a lifestyle lifetime alongside with people who are here for a reason people who are here for a lifetime can help you in all areas of your life they can help you spiritually physically mentally emotionally as if like they have been sent into your life that there's a purpose of why they're here hence why i said people that are here for a reason are usually here with the mission they need to complete in your life or you need to complete in their life but the people that are here for a lifetime is very sad because I've actually come across a few people I've ignored in my life. Um, and I felt very bad being able to confront them and say, do you know what, we've been friends for this, this amount of years or months. And I've actually realized that I'm not really giving you my all like I meant to. I'm not treating you the way you're me like you deserve to be treated and i apologize now i say with people who are able to confront their wrongs and just say i'm sorry are people who are actually people who are walking in the journey of christ period i feel like people who cannot come and confront others and say look i'm sorry i didn't mean to do this even when they know that like, this could probably be the last straw like i doubt this person would even speak to me like i guess i feel like if i go and speak to this person this person will probably look at me silly like you ungrateful person i ain't trying to you boom bye do you get what I'm saying? Sometimes it's pride that eats people and they can't do that. Do you understand? It's sad, but think about it like, do I know anybody that's like that? There's this one person that's always there, like, they're always chatting to me, always trying to be my friend. When they see me post something on social media, they're the first ones to like. Not Kokonsa people, know the difference though. It's not the Kokonsa people. It's the people that actually want to be in your life. The people that actually call you, hi, how are you? How was your day? Even when you don't want to chat to nobody, by force they want to start conversation. Those people are there for a lifetime. You may not know why they're there, but then this is when you actually take the step to find out why they're there. Now my question to you is, do you know anybody like that who has actually been in your life for the longest? It's like you've always tried to get rid of them, but they're not going. Or sometimes you didn't even pay attention to them, but you still question yourself, why is this person still here? Why is this person still supporting me? Why is this person still reposting my stuff? And I don't even chat to him or her like that. Why? Why? You now need to deep it like, if it was me and I was giving my undivided attention to somebody, a girl, a guy, a family member, and they were airing me all the time, how would you feel? Like your your emotions and your feelings towards them is so genuine. But then the person on the other side doesn't even pay attention to me. The person on the other side doesn't even value my existence in their life. How would you feel? How would you feel? Now you just gotta ask yourself, how am I gonna reach out to this person? How am I gonna apologize to this person? How am I actually gonna make this person know that, listen, I care about you, but I just never knew you were there because I didn't value you. How are you gonna jump out of that stance of pride and sort out that relationship? Because in this life, listen, we need people who will make sense of You cannot involve yourself with people who are not going to make sense in your life. Otherwise, my dear, the cycle that you are riding in 2018 is the same cycle you're going to be running in 2019. And we don't need that. We are the cycle breakers, the generational cycle breakers, the financial cycle breakers, the business cycle breakers, the marital cycle breakers. We, this generation, we are the cycle breakers. Sometimes we ourselves, we tend to actually be the bad person. We tend to be the bad people. We tend to have all these great people in our lives and we never notice them because we pay attention to people who are here for a season and it's very very sad and i feel like 
if you have the spirit of discernment you will never ever 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 lose someone who is in your life for a reason or for a lifetime because the moment that person enters into your life and you go home and you're like father lord i met this guy or i met this girl today um i don't know why they i've met them on this day i don't know why i've met them during this time in my life but lord show me in a vision through a dream speak to me make me understand like is this a keeper or is this someone i just need to keep myself far away from and as long as your heart is pure i know my father lord in heaven will definitely explain it to you as much as possible for you to know mm -hmm. i know your intentions i, I know I know your intentions. Do you see what I'm saying? So guys, please, 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 please analyze those around you because it's 2019. We cannot be repeating ourselves. Yes, we are in February. We can still create strong foundations. I did say this to you guys in my um, recent chit chat video that no matter if you feel like January didn't go well or you are still carrying those bad friends into 2019, it's never too late. It is never too late. It's never ever too late. You can always just be like, sis, hold up. Hold up. Listen, I have girls who are still in my life, yeah. And even when I want to chill with them, they say to me, sorry, pastor, you can't chill with us. I'm just like, so I can't have friends. Okay. I know those people are meant to be in my life for a long time. So I just slowly distance myself, even though being alone is lonely, but I prefer to be lonely for a long time to know that the right people are going to come and they are going to be lifetime people in my life. Do you understand? So loneliness, I don't fear loneliness. Singleness, I don't fear singleness. Do you understand? I'm enduring those two things right now in this life. Can you see? <laughs> we often think that we care about people too much more than they care about us. But maybe we're just caring and looking at the wrong people. Before I go, actually, don't forget, guys, I will be doing my worship night. Hopefully, this video will be out before my worship night. Um, yeah, I will be doing a worship night on the 2nd of March, which is coming up real, real, real soon. I am so, so excited because ministering to many people is something that i've always wanted to do for the longest i guess it just had to come at its right timing and by his grace god has called me to do this and i would love to share this moment with every single one of you guys please 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 i would love you guys to be there it will be like i said on the 2nd of march in brixton which is i think is quite local for everybody it's like a it's like a, a center point for everybody so please 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 make sure you're there it is for free so come along with as many people as you like. It will be a night to remember. I'll see you guys later. It's your girl, okay? I'm checking in and I'm checking out. Bye-bye.